I had created a video on cap theorem more than four years ago. If you had watched that particular video, I covered different topics about the partition tolerance, consistency, and the availability within the cap theorem. We saw different examples with the real world databases which are available and how you can easily remember them using the cap triangle. Also, in the end, I slightly introduced you to the concept of beyond the cap theorem, which is the Passelk theorem. However, it's been a while since I recorded that continuation. In this video, we are going to look at what is Passelk theorem and how you can leverage it to overlay new modern distributed databases in the modern era. Let's get started. Before getting into what is the Passelk theorem, let's brush our basics. When it comes to the cap theorem, we talked about consistency, which is nothing but the same data. We talked about availability, which is nothing but some data is available for us. And then isolated data, which is nothing but partition tolerance. So a system can achieve only two of this in this particular theorem. For example, you can have consistency and availability. So the databases which are catering to this need will prefer same data or some data over isolated data. And the databases which are aligned here are in the picture here. And same way consistency and the partition tolerance the databases which cater to that which can trade off the availability are mentioned here and same way availability and partition tolerance there, there are a lot of databases right so this is what we talked about cap theorem in that particular video now what is this Passelk theorem right to look at the definition of the Passelk theorem if a partition happens within a database or a distributed system then you have the option to either choose availability or consistency or you can choose latency or consistency and that's what this particular line says if partition then choose availability or consistency else choose latency or consistency so whenever a system is not in the partition tolerance then you can choose latency or consistency earlier we were talking about availability or consistency only but then we have now introduced a concept of latency so we can use we can choose between latency or consistency or availability or consistency. So that's what this particular theorem says. At a high level, if you look at it, this is how it is, right? Whenever there is a partition, if there is a partition, you can either choose availability or consistency, right? And this is what is nothing but the cap theorem. We will just see that in detail. If there is no partition, then you can either choose latency or you can choose consistency. The reason why we brought latency and consistency into picture because there are a lot of databases which doesn't just cater to the cap theorem and that's when beyond the cap theorem came into picture and a lot of people proposed a new theorem and that that's where Passelk was created right now like i said the partition whenever there is a partition you either choose availability or consistency this is nothing but the cap theorem i'm just uh, mentioning a simple way to remember partition availability and partition consistency that basically is nothing but the cap theorem right same way if there is no partition then you can choose latency right or you can choose consistency so this is the other part or the new part into this particular theorem where if there is no partition in a distributed system then you can choose latency over consistency and that's what this is so there is new thing like if there is no partition there there is either you choose latency or you choose consistency now let's look at why this pastel is even required right whenever we talk about high availability in a distributed system these systems are geographically located in different regions and geographies so we need to replicate data from one region to another for example i have a database sitting in india and there is a replication which is sitting in the united states now i need to transfer my data and replicate it from one region to the other and also i need to have it highly available and whenever there is replication of data there is latency versus consistency trade-off now what happens is let's say there are two queries which are happening in india and uh, there is a query happening in us as well at the same time right the data replication takes a hit because you will have to transfer the data from the India server to the United States or United States to India, right? So you will have to have a trade-off between latency versus consistency. So the latency here denotes how much time your request takes to synchronize the data between the source region to the destination region. Let's say the source region is India and the destination region is United States and I'm trying to persist the data or commit the data into a database. Now, if there's a lock which says that, okay, I will 
commit this transaction only when the replication is completed then there is a latency trade-off which you have to have because you have consistency because whoever is reading the data at the same time in both these regions will have consistent data because you had locked the data which had a two-phase commit basically you commit into the source region and also to the destination region as well however if let's say i'm okay with latency my system will be available for me to serve the data right but the data may not be consistent so this is where i am choosing latency over consistency so i might be writing data faster into the source region so i don't worry about what the destination region data is because i know that there is going to be a lag or latency between the data persistence from the source to the destination region and i'm not worried about that because i'm just writing the data into one particular database and then that's get replicated to the other database if you're very much interested in reading about how PASELC evolved take a look at the white paper i will leave the link for this white paper in the description below and that is where the PASELC theorem started now coming to the cap example so like i said in the new PASELC theorem there is no direct correlation between the consistency and availability because partition tolerance takes preference here in a distributed system so we're just removing the triangle here because that doesn't make sense anymore now let's try overlaying all these database into four different categorizations which we have so here are a few databases which i want to overlay in these four different categories the first one is apache hbase so hbase is a highly consistent database you can use it to be consistent whether there is a partition or not right that's why if you see here it caters to the partition if there is a partition it goes it chooses consistency and also same way if there is no partition again it chooses consistency as a first class citizen that's where apache hbase comes into picture couchbase can be tuned into three different categories similar to amazon dynamodb um, so it caters to consistency when there is partition tolerance and it caters to latency if there is no partition right same way even if there is no partition it can be tuned to have a consistent behavior as well right mongodb slightly varies from the other two or other three so it can be configured to have highly available database right where it loses consistency but it is um, prioritizing availability over consistency there is also another mode where you can have consistency configured as a primary need of course like i said dynamodb is somewhat similar to a mixture of both couchbase and the mongodb it chooses availability when there's a partition and it chooses latency or consistency whenever there is no partition right so you can configure dynamodb in such a way that you can have three different variations of dynamodb configured in your cluster the next one is cassandra cassandra caters towards the partition and the availability and also if there is no partition it chooses latency over consistency so it's a slight different variation from what amazon db has finally cosmos db caters into partition if there is a partition it prioritizes consistency if there is no partition it prioritizes latency so these are different modern databases which fall into different categories within the PASELC configuration there is also two other databases rather one database one in memory data grid which caters into all the four categories PostgreSQL is a database which can be leveraged for any of these you can tune it to have either availability or consistency when there is a partition or if there is no partition you can choose between latency or consistency same way in memory data grid of hazelcast follows the same pattern in a nutshell PASELC is something beyond the cap theorem where you can overlay databases not just between availability and consistency but also with respect to latency because we have distributed databases when they are replicating data from one region to another now you can ask me is this the end of the PASELC theorem or choosing a database of course not right beyond the PASELC theorem amazon came up with their own theorem called as the pi theorem again the expansion for it is pattern flexibility infinite scale and efficiency this came into picture when cloud databases were born and there is a concept of infinite data which is available for consumers to consume from so that you don't have to worry about the data and the cloud provider is able to give you infinite amount of data again if you are interested do let me know i can make a separate video on the amazon spy theorem if you're already aware of what is spy theorem do let me know what is that so that others can also learn from it as always i hope this particular video was helpful 
you can leverage the pestle theorem in choosing a database when you are designing systems and of course to clear your system design interview i hope this particular video was interesting as always if you like the video go and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much